like who is that? I slob with the Glock when I'm busting the trap. We found a treasure, put gang on the map. He give you my number, I'll give you my snap. You beef with my brother, I can't give you that. Running this race is my third overlap. Why are these niggas only tough for the strap? I ain't got about weed, cause the hair like Rapunzel. I ball like LeBron, and you ball like Lonzo. Smoke straight paper, I ain't tryna smoke Fronto. Church just sends me, I ain't tryna convo. I just the Glock, make me feel like Rondo. Dick in the mouth, think I'm touching the tonsils. Bro got the drum like bongos. Tryna build an empire just like the Mongols. When life your heart, someone told me to pray. And give you a girl, I want you to stay. Every time we go out, you know I'm a pay. Only fell out one time and she kissed that away. Think about the day I buried my brother, that shit in my mind is stuck on replay. They asked me, why did I do it? I sat back and relaxed and had nothing to say. Take sound for bro. What's good, YouTube? You guys know what time it is. Here we go. We're in week five, coming back to Corvallis after a couple of road games, taking on the sixth ranked USC Trojans in a huge conference opener for us, but it's also a huge recruiting weekend for our team. We have several top prospects coming in, some that, are, uh, that uh, USC is even recruiting. So this is going to be a big game for us, really a big weekend for us, and I hope you guys are as excited as I am. I did a couple of things before the game that I tried to do in the last episode, but I couldn't figure out, so I just cut it all together, but I did finally figure it out today. So I was going back and watching some film. When I make the highlights, obviously I kind of go back and review what, what goes on during the game a little bit. Um, there were some plays and packages where Jonathan Joseph, who's usually playing on the right side of the line if you're looking at the screen, he was on the left side, or even sometimes lined up in the middle as a D-tackle. So I went in, and I tried to do formation subs last week, couldn't figure out how to do it because the 4-2-5 was in there instead of the 4-3, which is the one I like better. What you have to do is go to coach philosophy, change the defense down there, and then you can do formation subs on that defense. So, like I said, last week against Army, we ran the 4-2-5, and it worked out really freaking well. However, when Army did pass the ball, we weren't that, I mean, we were okay, we weren't that good. We weren't as good as I thought we would be in coverage, so I'm going back to the 4-3 multiple for this week. I like it when I have three linebackers in the game because all three of them are very good. Joe Reynolds, Vince Watkins, and Chris Davis, they all need to be on the field at the same time, and we're not that deep at secondary in terms of talent. I don't want five secondary members on the field, defensive backs at once, because we don't, we're not five deep there this year. In past years, we have them, but not this year. So I want the linebackers on the field uh, and then, you know, the, the regular four DBs in the back, couple corners, couple safeties. I don't want the 4-2-5 this week. I don't want USC exposing us just because we, we got a shutout last week. Army and USC, as we all know, co two completely different teams, two completely different offenses. So big change for this week, and we'll see how that works out. All right, so I won't waste any time. We'll go ahead and get right into this. As you guys can see, Kirk is rolling with us today against USC. Probably smart because he picked Army, and then previously he picked Nebraska. So third time's a charm, I guess. Hopefully he's right this time. Um, well, yeah, we're hoping he's right. Uh, as you can see, a couple, a couple top prospects at the top of the page they're visiting. So Ryan Jackson is actually getting recruited by USC as well, and I think they're right behind us, so they might be just ahead of us in the rankings there. So we need to have a big game today. We got to give Edgar Haas the ball because I'm sure he's got some complimentary points that we can earn if we do that. So we got to get the dub. We got to get the tight ends the ball. We got to just show out today all together. Looking at rankings and such, we're A plus everything. USC is A minus. They're, this is usually the team that competes with us the hardest because they have more, if not the same amount of talent as we do. Uh, points per game or total offense, that's what we want to look at. We're 12th in the country. They're 78, so not great there. Defensively, they're 36th and we're second, so one and two. How about that? For uh, for uh, or actually 12 and 12 and two. Excuse me, 12 and two. I'm looking at points per game. 12 offense, two defense. Really good. Really good. We haven't really been tested like that yet, I would say. I, Nebraska's offense wasn't special. Boise State's wasn't special. Army's, it was the option, so you can't really put too much stock into that one. I'm excited to see what we get today because USC has shown in the past they can put up points against us. Uh, turnover differential, they have the edge there, but not by much. We're both in the positive, so not concerned about that whatsoever. Here's a look at our schedule. All these games are on YouTube. I'll tag one or two of them right here. Already got a ranked win over Nebraska. We blew them out, extended our home win streak to 42 games. Obviously, that's on the line once again today. We beat Boise State on the road, but it looks like they're 0-3. Not off to a great start this year. 45-point win right there. And then we just absolutely smashed Army in their stadium. I can't believe they only dropped like two spots in the rankings. That's kind of BS. We were actually number two in that game. They dropped us after we beat Boise from 1-2, to two, which is BS. But uh, we showed out, and they gave us that number one ranking back, which we should have had anyways. So, as you guys can see, a bit of a gauntlet here to open the season. One, two, three. For, yeah, four ranked opponents in the first six games, but uh, UCLA just got blown up by Stanford, so I'm not too scared of, 
scared of them. I think once we get over this USC hump, it's going to be all downhill, smooth sailing from there. Uh, we got to keep an eye on Stanford, though, obviously. Like I just said, they blew out UCLA. So those two weeks back-to-back, -back, we've got to be on the top of our game. But other than that, not too scared about our schedule. We've got to get this W today, though. Here's a look at uh, USC's schedule. Beat FCS Midwest by 10. Got a road win at Washington by 12. And then they beat Oregon last week by two touchdowns. Nothing to, you know, nothing to brag about there. Here's our season number so far. Lee McGee uh, nearing that 1,000-yard mark. He probably could hit it today. He's got five touchdowns to no picks. He was on the Heisman watch going into last week, but didn't have a great performance. Army's defense was very good. Got to give him all the credit in the world. We did eventually break through uh, because of the run game. Great segue into the next part of this. McConnell had an absolutely huge game last week. He's, had, he's up to 35 carries for 300 yards. Eight and a half per carry and four touchdowns, and he's averaging about 100 per game. And last week, as you see, 12 carries, 156 yards, and a touchdown. This dude completely changed the landscape of that game. I mean, it was 3 0, it was 0 0 for a long time. He breaks off a big run, and from there, we had all the momentum, and we took full advantage of that. Edgar Haas still, leaving us, still leading us in receiving. This guy's a tight end slash wide out. He's like Kyle Pitts 2.0. If you're new here, he's Kyle Pitts 2.0. 10 catches, 207 yards, about 21 per catch. Three touchdowns and about 69, about 69. It is 69 yards per game, about 70 per game, I was going to say. Uh, three catches for 42 yards last week. We're going to look for him again today, like I said, because we've got to get those extra points for Ryan Jackson. Defensively, Vince Watkins is leading us in tackles with 14, as you guys can see now right there. And then Jaron Taylor, one pick. Brandon Ball, three sacks. He had two last week. He was Pac-12 Conference Player of the Week for defense. And he had a big play in that game where he got a sack. Forced the fumble, and we got the fumble recovery courtesy of Jonathan Joseph, who I hope will continue to be an animal because we moved him around back to where he's strongest on this defense. All right, y'all, so without further ado, let's get it going, baby. It's the Beavers and the Trojans, and it's going down right now in Corvallis. Ride, baby, here we go. Dwayne Patton to receive the opening kickoff, and we're underway. Not gonna be able to catch this one. Let's get it going with the offense. Oh, cut that back. Let's go. Go, McConnell. Let's go. Fights ahead. Found a hole. Cut it back. Got nine yards. Third and one. Good block from Phillips. McConnell follows him. Runs over a couple dudes. Man, this dude came to play. The game just started. Get the throw off, John. Damn. Second and long. McGee's got a hole. He moves forward. Doesn't fumble. Picks up 10. Third and six. Let's get this. Got the drag over here. It's Brewer. He has the catch. Gets over the 40-yard line and has the first down. Get it off right before the blitz gets home. We find Phillips in the flat. And the athletic fullback rumbles forward for eight yards. Way to go, fellas. McConnell finds a seam, and he's into the second level. Another first down, three for three on those conversions. We go screen here. McConnell has the catch, runs away from a would-be tackler, and he's in there. Let's go. That drive was all John McConnell. Ooh, that boy Coleman, that's their good receiver. Try to one-handed catch. Curls over here. We'll cover the flat. He's trying to get out of the pocket. We switch to Watkins and get the sack, man. Let's go. Let's get off the field here. Get there, Taylor. Oh, we get picked up. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Oh, shit. Harry, make that tackle. Oh, Christ. Stewart. Yikes, man. They're dicing us up. Come out, boy! Yes, sir! 
Sir, we needed that bad. Come on, baby. Is they run it here and we come in. The corner makes the tackle. That was actually Vince Perry. Third and long. Let's go. Screen pass to the left side. Gotcha, Taylor's bitch. there. Probably could have gotten the pick. Wasn't even thinking about it, but he makes the TFL. Big stop by the defense, baby. Oh, that's a mistake. Stays in play. Come on, Patton. Got the blocks along the sideline. He's got to outrun him, and he does. Dwayne Patton. One more guy to beat. He breaks the tackle, and he's gone. Dwayne Patton to the crib. Let's go. Protecting myself, we out here taking risks. If you gon' be a bitch, then why do you exist? You ain't come to bug, it's your ass on the bench. They wanna watch, but don't know where I've been. Bro, on his way, if I tell him to spin, don't need no forgiveness for none of my sins. We brought the cage, he still find 10. I lost my mind and I do it again. You said that you're holding, let us catch your friend. Oh, get there, Reynolds. Oh my gosh, I was trying to get there and make that play. There. Davis takes away the linebacker. Evans. Jeez. Oh, he's going up the middle, but we're there. Let's go. Michael Smith. Oh, they're going to pass it here. Stick. Stick. Hits the slant over the middle. Damn, man. Right yeah. here. Look at Watkins come downhill. Let's go, Fofo. Oh my god, bro. This dude, Dave Payne, hits us up every year. That was against the zone. I don't know what happened there. I guess he just found a seam and the quarterback made a beautiful throw, man. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. McGee gets the block. Always free. Lee McGee just got the safety to beat. Go Pennington. Oh, he's got a step. He's got a step. And that's going to end the first quarter. I was like, Dan, we get to lay a game penalty. Great opening quarter by the offense. Really, everybody, it's just USC's finding some seams in our defense. we got to trust our man-to-man. -man. That's the biggest adjustment for the second quarter. Let's keep it up, though. Oh, nice block. Bryant never gets that block. He did that time. Easy work. Good blocking. McGee moves forward. He takes a big hit, but he's okay. Move them chains. Oh, I thought we were getting by. Oh, not there. Get out of the pocket. He's open. Hit him. Let's go! McGee gets out of the pocket. I thought we'd have Phillips, but we find Brewer just sitting pretty in the back of the end zone. We extend our lead again. Draw play, and Joseph's right there, contains the running back, third down. Oh, screen. Get there, this is you, Burnett, let's go! B.J. Burnett comes downhill, slows down the receiver, and Vince Perry finishes it off. That's great teamwork. Got He's one guy to beat, him. oh, he beats him. Go, McConnell, let's go. Great blocking and a nice move by J.M. Let's go, baby. Spun out of there. Nice run. Third and one. Let's get the first down. Keep it for McGee. He's got the blocks on the outside. Damn, we needed that last one there with 13 yards, and he moves the chains. Bro, come on. Like the pressure was instantaneous. And it was a four-man rush. 
Out route. Oh, he's got this one on this side. Underneath pass. Top double coverage, dangerous throw. Taylor drops the pick. Come on, man. Going up top again. This one's yes, got to be picked. Patton gets his hands on it. We drop another interception, though. Yeah, I think that's short. Yeah, it's off the crossbar. He misses. We got 17 seconds, and we got a chance to get some points. Let's go. That's huge. blocking all right we'll take that time out there nine seconds yep easy he's got a slow linebacker on him and he makes the catch moves the chains timeout we need about 10 more yards damn i thought he caught that oh we got him Haas, bro no oh i should have bullet passed that he had a step on the secondary the, the ball hung up in the wind, and he couldn't make a play on it for the jump ball. Damn, bro. All right, so missed opportunities, as you just saw. 21-10, to 10, though. We're up at halftime. Um, offensive line's not playing very well. We're taking a lot of sacks, but the run game's been great. I think we're going to stick with that in the second half. Defense is doing well. Let's just keep it up. That's all you can say. Bro, come on, y'all. Running it here, Reynolds catches up. Oh, in route. Hit. Oh. oh, Taylor made a freaking great effort to play that ball, but it gets through. Burnett, bro. All right, we're coming in here. We're coming Bruh. in with Taylor. We're going to try and make this play. We need great covers behind. We got a late job, but we get there anyway. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, 18. Come out, ball. Let's go, man. All right, this is an even farther field goal than the one they already missed. I don't know which way the wind's going. We got McConnell back there to return this one, too, if he misses this. And, he, yeah, he's missing that, too. That one's short. Let's go. Throw it away. Great coverage by that slot corner. Got it. Make that catch. Let's go, Pennington. He's been quiet as well this season, but the stud from last year steps up. We just get it off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Parker burns his man, and he's gone. Let's go. What a throw. Yes, sir. Vince Watkins again. This guy is an animal. Uh-huh, check that thing down. Nowhere to go with that pass. Motion back to the side. I need you guys to cover up there. Screen pass. Gotcha, bitch. That's Taylor. That's all Taylor. Reynolds comes in. He wanted to play more than Taylor. Either way, it's a fourth and long, and we get the ball back. Oh, good hole. Oh, break that. Great job by Josh Wright leading the way with that block there. We nearly had a touchdown. Bounce that. Bounce that. Nice job, baby. Eat that. Let's go. Go, Bryant. Nice run, baby. Move them chains. Check that down to Pennington. He gets ahead inside the 20. And um, we'll kick the field goal here.
Free pass. Oh, Perry! Damn, took one bad step. Oh, one step too late. Come on, baby. Screen. Get there. Let's go, baby. Cotton and Burnett there to make the tackle. We had it on lock that time. Let's go. Let's fumble. Tackle, tackle, tackle. Let's go. The old lineman picks it up and moves forward. But that's going to bring up fourth down. They, they might go for this. We'll see. All right, that's going to take us to the fourth quarter. 31 to 10 lead. Just about it. Got it on lockdown here. Just can't make any mistakes. We'll play clean football here in the fourth and get the win. He's got it. Let's go. Huge right there. See ya. Mm, yikes. Yes. 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 Yes, sir. There we go. There it is. Lee McGee sneaks through the hole, and he's gone. House call. Lee McGee. That's ball game. Get there, Stewart. Get there, Stewart. Nice job, man. Way to close that down. That's picked. Nice job, Burnett. Wait to make that play. That was acrobatic. Let's go. No, sir. Oh, not again. Not again, Lee. Run away. Oh my god, he almost got through both of those 41 yards. They can't stop the QB power, man. Ball game, let's go! And that'll do it right there. The Beavers beat the Trojans 45 to 10. They move to 4-0 on the season and get another ranked win, another top 10 win two weeks in a row. Uh, I don't think anybody's going to be able to check us this year, guys. I'm just being honest. You might want to chill until we play UCLA and Stanford. But, I mean, other than that, I think it's cruise control for this season. We are playing at a very high level, and it was on display once again today as Lee McGee gets player of the game for the second time this year. We'll talk in post. So that's it right there, man. 45 to 10 win over the Trojans. We have no problem with these guys ever, and that doesn't change today. We absolutely ran the ball all over these dudes. Still didn't play our best. You know, we still had missed opportunities uh, on offense and on defense, but that's fine. We still get a 35 point win. Uh, unbelievable effort. Love it. Uh, we moved to 43 straight home win games. Moved to 4 0. We get our first conference win of the season. And like I said, man. I think it's all downhill from here once we got UCLA and Stanford. Once we get those two out of the way, and those, I don't even think those two will be 
too difficult for us. I think it's all downhill from here, so I think we're really we're looking really good. I thought we, maybe we'd be two and two, one and three, three and one. Who knows, man? The first four games of our season were absolutely brutal on paper. We come out and make it look easy, like we do every single year. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like the content, hit the like button. If you're new here, hit the sub button. I have some really freaking big updates coming to this channel i'll let you know more details on that soon i don't want to leak the big details but they're going to be coming soon enough you guys should be excited if you're not subscribed you should probably subscribe right now we got some banger content coming some huge updates for this channel drop down below drip of the day i'll take a look at those and i'll put those in the next recruiting episode and that'll be coming out tomorrow so stay tuned we'll see you guys tomorrow thanks again for watching i really appreciate it as always i'm signing off john eads go bees baby